it's the really Charlie podcast. Yeah, it's the really Charlie podcast. Yo, yo, it's the really Charlie podcast. Bump into your broadcast, grab a chance, fill your glass. Yeah, it's the really Charlie podcast. Yo, it's the really Charlie podcast. Yeah, yeah, it's the really Charlie podcast. Bump into your broadcast, grab a chance, fill your glass. Hey, 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 what's going on? Charlie Perry here of the Really Charlie Podcast. I'm just deciding to come on here and want to let you let you all know about a project that I'm working on. Um, on a brainstorm that I had um, along with uh, uh, my friend Berto Carter. We're talking about many things. And so as you as we had discussions, you know, um, I just said, bam, you know, I got to do something. And um, so being active and whether it's podcasting or whether it's um, writing a book, poetry, just trying to do many, many things, doing a lot of things that uh, I was unable to do throughout my years um, due to probably the job, you know, as a, as a police officer, which you, is not to, you know, you get restricted a little bit of what you could say and definitely couldn't be on a podcast giving my opinion all the time because there's no such thing as off duty. Um, once you're in uniform and, and take that oath, you know, there's no such thing as off duty. You're a police officer 24 hours a day, seven days out of the week, and you will uh, be held accountable. So if, um, if I was on a podcast doing things and saying things that were different than the uh, opinion of, of, of the city and department that I work for, guess what? I'd be in trouble. So now that I'm uh, kind of chilling out and, and doing the many things, I uh, said, let me, let me just uh, dibble and dabble with a few things and, uh, and do something that's worth some, that has some substance, right? So I'm working on creating a documentary creating a documentary on a dear friend of mine um, that was one of my first superstars, if not my first superstar in the world, when it came to people, athletic people, uh, maybe mentors in the community. Um, my mentor um, was Keith Francis. Keith Francis, uh, Grew up in the city of New Bedford, Massachusetts, like I did. And um, his mom, they lived right next door to us. So um, he was just one of those dudes, you know, him, his brother. They were just somebody that, you know, once you seen them, they, they caught your eye. And um, Keith was that person. Uh, he passed away a few years ago and, um, you know, quite a few years ago. And um, so, you know, it's, it's, I just want to keep his legacy going on. I, and this documentary is something that I want to do. Um, speaking to my friend, you know, Berto Carter, um, he is uh, the owner of the Wind Down Productions. So, you know, we're, he wants to do a few things and uh, I want to do a few things. So, we're going to kind of collaborate and get things going on my end and his end uh you know creativity is it's it's there it's 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 in us and we're going to try to do many many things to bring it to our viewers on the podcast really Charlie podcast on frequency live with Berto and his host um on wnb1 radio in fact, add WNB1 radio to your apps, your devices, you know, sorry, add it to your devices, whether it's Android or Apple. You see the logo just above my head, WNB1 radio. And uh, you can listen to music 24 hours, seven days out of a week. Um, location of this radio station is at 262 Union Street, New Bedford, Mass. So right now, um, 
I want to talk about a few things just so you know about Keith. Keith is a uh, is is um, a great man, track star in the city. Um, played him out, played a few sports. I think it was basketball and track, um, along with baseball. Um, so I'm going to give you some facts about him. He was born in New Bedford, Massachusetts, 1955. Um, national natural athlete. He participated in basketball, baseball at New Bedford High School from 1968 to 1972. He played basketball through his senior year, but decided to concentrate on track beginning his junior year because he knew that his family could not afford sending him to college. And he felt that he could um, be good enough to get a scholarship. Soon he was dominating the 880 yard run. And now that now is the uh, 800 meter run. And as a senior, he won the Massachusetts class, the Eastern Massachusetts State, and the New England Championship at that distance. He broke state records that year with uh, 1 minute 52 seconds, 0. 0.5. Um, these are all facts from Wik uh, Wikipedia. And uh, you know, so I, I just basically, um, you know, just throwing that out there, just a bits and pieces of it. He was also a government employee. Um, he served on the trustees for the Boston College. Um, and he mentored many, 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 many people and uh, um, young, young people to get them on their path to college. All right. All right. So it's a great job, Charlie. Uh, what a great man. Rest in peace, Keith and Kenny were great athletes. Who are brothers, of course. Keith and Kenny Francis, um, great dudes. They both held their own on the basketball court. Um, Kenny was a very, very talented basketball player. Played all over the East Coast. Um, and, uh, you know, so... But he passed away also, and um, I I like both of them, man. I that was just a that was just a double feature of good good men for a young boy like me growing up. My brother and I seeing them, um, they were just tremendous to me. Um, done many many things, and uh, as I grew older, I became friends with both of them, and. Uh, you know, that, that was just something, something special for me. So what I want to be looking for is for family. I'm going to be looking for family, friends, um, and uh, people that he tried to line up their future with, uh, you know, going to uh, Boston College or any university, higher education. Um, I also want to talk to, you know, people that uh, were associated with him, whether it's his job or, or within the, the Boston College campus. Um, and I want to just put this documentary out. There's a few different things out there that, uh, you know, a few minutes long and, uh, or, you know, they're probably 30 minutes long. I'm looking to do something, a four part documentary and this documentary is going to be um, focused on family, family uh, things that he done, you know, what family impressions of Keith and, and what he's done over the years for them. Um, friends will be interviewed to kind of give their perspective, share some stories. Um, I also want to talk to the people that. Um, the adults that he mentored while they were teenagers, you know, and I like to talk to them and get their stories and how of a, how big of an influence he was with them and and what they listened and learned from him. And so I want to put all that in a documentary and then later talk about his accomplishments. Right. That would be the closing of it. Um, so but I want to get this out. And I'm going to start his, um, 
I tried to get an interview yesterday. Um, that didn't work out um, due to, you know, obligation to the obligation. So I understand people are busy. So I just got to keep moving on and moving along. And eventually I'll get back to you. You know, I'll get back to whoever wants to get interviewed. Um, just because you get interviewed doesn't mean that you're going to be in it. However, it's going to be a permanent record of you because what I'm going to do is um, record this and, and, and save these and, and actually produce this and, and just put all the different video and audio. Um, I'm going to store it somewhere, whether it's on YouTube or, or whether it's here on the podcast, but I have the capabilities to re- to store all that. Um, and so I'm going to get started with it. Um, look, I don't have any budget, you know, I don't have anything that's going to, um, you know, put me over the top, you know, or, or give me um, thousands and thousands of dollars worth of equipment. So I'm going to do and, and work with what I have. And the one thing I have is this, you know, I have StreamYard. StreamYard where I can kind of connect with people through a link and have an interview right there, a private interview, me and the person or me and several people, and then record it and then place it in the documentary. How cool is that? So, um, and you could be from anywhere, any part of the country, any part of the world, and I'm able to reach you through the internet. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, um, I, I actually want to, uh, um, well, what I'm going to do is just kind of be grabbing people throughout the neighborhood in the community and talking to them. Um, but I want to put this on, 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 on the social media platforms that I'm involved in only because it will give you an opportunity to share this with someone. You may say, oh, man, Charlie's doing something for Keith. Uh, About Keith, you know what? Um, Oh, I know his coach from wherever. You know, you send it to him. And that way they will have something. Um, I I think I, um, I think this will be an easy, uh, easy accomplishment as long as I stay steady with it and keep on working on it. Um, And then I'm going to have, uh, have some people that I know that are experts on different things and, and, and have them help me out with many, many things. I'd like to um, get this accomplished and done um, before the summer or in the summer, but no later than August, you know. So if uh, I can get it done and if things of people, people are cascading down, you know, to get interviewed, then, you know, it, it will probably happen a whole lot quicker than expected, you know. So um, there's one thing is I'll stick with it. I'll get on it. If I'm interviewing you, I'm going to already start working on your interview and actually um, placing that within the production. Um, but like I said, um, this is all going to be done um, under the name of the Wind Down Podcast, or the Wind Down Productions, uh, which is owned by Roberto Carter as we call him Berto. So I'll be, um, and that's how it's going to come out. Um, it will be on, you know, the really Charlie, um, YouTube channel. I'll put it out on there. Um, but it's definitely going to be available to everybody and cost you nothing. Right. Keith, if he gave me some, didn't cost me nothing. Right. Or they gave me something physically, emotionally, um, didn't cost me anything. They just gave it to me. So I'm going to do the same exact thing. Whatever I come up with, I'm going to just kind of turn it over, let it fly to the heights that it has, that it's capable of doing, whether it's the highs that are right on the ground level on the sidewalk or whether it's high to the heavens, you know, I'm going to let it fly. I'm going to let this fly so we can um, hear more about Keith. All right, let's see. Got another comment here. I just noticed it. Watching Keith 
Keith watching Keith, um, my first cousin. Kenny is Kenny's missed too. Yes. You know what that is uh it's one thing about the family, right? They got a tremendous family, big, big family. And they lost a lot of people over the over the past, you know, five years within that family. Even more, ten years, you know, like we all have. But the thing about the the their family, right? They have always had iconic people everywhere within that family that you could you could talk to. If one was busy, you could just end up turning around and go speak to someone else, whether it was um their uncle Donald Gomes. Um and and, and now I grew up with their mom around me all the time. Whether it was in the neighborhood or whether it was going to school, she was there. She was always there to help guiding us. She was that kind of mother figure in the school. Um, her and Mrs. Santos, and, and they, they kept an eye on us, right? Parents didn't have to worry about, you know, uh, the kids and stuff then, especially with those two in the school. Um, all right, let's see. The comment is, so Charlie, can you check with Spinner Publications for photos of Monty Park while being built? Um, let's see. I know they have them. Oh, let me see. Yeah, I know they have them. I seen them. I think it was uh, the WPA project. Thanks. Yeah, I'll look into that. You know, I'm always calling and speaking to uh, Jay at uh, uh, Spinner Publications. They do amazing things. You've got Miss Grace there. Um, so they have everything. And I always steer people to the, the direction of. Spinner Publications, which is on William Street in the Bedford. Um, they keep and restore so many things, um, whether it's, um, well, it's, it's got to do with, with photo, photos of the old neighborhoods, and uh, and they do so, so much, right? So I try to direct everybody there to get that information. And, um, you know, it's not a big crew. It's only a few people in there. But they do a fabulous job, fabulous job. Um, so I'll, I'll check that out, and um, who knows? I may have it on my laptop already. So I'll, I'll check out two locations and then uh, go from there. Um, let's see. I've seen the photos in their vault. Yeah, cool. I, I know they have a lot of good stuff. They're working out every single day. It would be a dream come true to work for Spinner Publications, you know, and just help out there. Even if it was volunteering, I would love that. So much, so much history there. Diamond in the rough. Uh, let's see here. Got a text message here. Try to answer it. All right. Oh, good news, good news. It is about Keith, so I am definitely going to um, reach out. I will reach out to them ASAP. Um, all right, so this this is going to get started right away. Um, I already started working on the, the the names of each part in the in the documentary. Um, I worked on um, working on. Um, grabbing a narrator for a few parts within the, the documentary. I'm waiting for a yes or no, and I'll have more answers to that um, within the next couple of days. I'm going to sit down and, and interview Berto, you know, to talk about his brainstorm and what he, what he has going on. I mean, he's already busy as it is, his full-time job. Um, but he, he's also doing Frequency Live here on WNB1 Radio. So, you know, he's constantly busy. But he has some things that he wants to do, and um, I'm going to try to help him out. And let's see what else. Um, all right. Um, Keith has a very, very um, big family, as I said. Um I know many people that are associated with them. I got to get in touch with uh, Richard Nichols, um, 
who's across the country. Um, got to get a hold of Coach Gardner. Um, got to speak to Tommy Rocha. Um, so many others. So many others. Frank Pina. Um, my uncle. There's uh, David Grace. So we have so many things I got to do. And uh, I just want it to be real, real special. You know, I want it to be with us laughing and joking. I want us to shed some tears. I want a lot of emotion in this. And uh, I'm going to try to bring it out. I'm going to try to bring it out. So, but, uh, all right. So please do what you can. Share, share, share. I really want to get uh, many uh, interviews off and running so I can get this going and edit all the stuff that I have. Let's see, I'm going to go up here and uh, try to put something up here. Uh, let's see. If you need to reach me, I'm going to give you my email. Or you can inbox me. But the email here is uh, reallycharliepodcast at gmail.com. That's reallycharliepodcast at gmail.com. Feel free to uh, definitely um, you know, send me an email um, in the subject matter. Just put Keith Francis, and I'll uh, get it. I'm gonna type it up right here. Just put in the subject matter Keith Francis, and I will definitely uh, answer your email once I receive it. I'm going to have to call some friends of mine, too. Uh, Todd Dos Reese. Um, he's done many projects. And uh, I'm going to pick his brain about a few things. So uh, let's see. This is my email. And there it is. Really, Charlie Podcast at gmail.com. So, send me anything that you uh, possibly have um, or you want to get interviewed, and then we'll set it up. Um, get some free time, and I could just do it right here on the computer. And uh, I will definitely have your interview and actually uh, a video, you know. So, but uh, some people might want to do it in a certain location, a place. We can do that too. All right. Um, take care. I'll definitely talk to you later. I'm going to go downstairs and uh, drink a cup of coffee in my, in my nice coffee mug I got and, uh, and actually get ready to go back to work in uh, about an hour. So, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Feel free to get in touch with me. Uh, I'm ready. I'm ready for you. Any story is a good story, you know, anything you have to say about Keith Francis, and uh, I would appreciate it, and God bless. All right. I'm going to end this with my favorite song by Lionel Peter Walker. All right, y'all. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Oh, uh, wait, I got one more comment here. See? Good morning. All right. Good morning to you, too. It says Facebook user, so I don't know who it is, but um, I appreciate you. All right. All right, y'all. Reach out. Share, share, share. Spread this information that we're trying to get things going. I don't care who it is. Any key story is a great story to me, so. Let's try to get this all together and get this documentary running, going, and uh, get it run very professional, and uh, it, it's going to be nice, you know. And I want to give a shout out to Berto for this uh, brainstorm, and uh, it's got me got me thinking about many things. So um, maybe a few documentaries about New Bedford people and places. So can't wait. And the wind down productions is going to be part of it, and, and it's going to be all under 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 their name, and I uh, can't wait.
going to be great. All right. God bless y'all. Take care. It's the Really Charlie Podcast. Yeah. It's the Really Charlie Podcast. Yo, yo. It's the Really Charlie Podcast. Bump into your broadcast. Grab a chair. Fill your glass. Yeah. It's the Really Charlie Podcast. Yo. It's the Really Charlie Podcast. Yeah, yeah. It's the Really Charlie Podcast. Bump into your broadcast. Grab a chair. Fill your glass.